Just an overnight storm killed a Boy Scout and camp leader in the Boundary Waters. They were with a group from Texas attending a camp along the Canadian border. Two other scouts were hurt. The damaging storm swept across northern Minnesota between 1 and 4 a.m. As you can see in these pictures from Beltrami County, the violent wind and rain tore down power lines, snapped trees, and blocked roads, leaving many stranded without power. Some of the most vulnerable people were camping in the BWCA. Emergency teams flew in to help injured campers on Basswood Lake. That's the same area where that Boy Scout troop from Texas was camping. It's just a few miles away from the Northern Tier High Adventure Base. And Bill Hudson joins us from the newsroom with more on that. Bill. Yeah, here we go again, Jennifer. This is the, the second time in a month we've seen tragedy result in the Boundary Waters due to severe summer storms. A female volunteer and a Texas Boy Scout are now the latest fatalities killed by falling trees. The group of three adults and six Boy Scouts were on a guided canoe trip from the Northern Tier High Adventure Base on Moose Lake, east of Ely. They were on their final night camped at the east end of Basswood Lake near the Prairie Portage entry into the Quetico. This radar image captures the severity of the storm cell as it swept through around 3 o'clock this morning. A severe storm with what we understand to be strong straight line winds unexpectedly came through. A scout spokesperson said the woman volunteer leader and Boy Scout were killed by falling trees. It's certainly part of the reality that we train for, but it doesn't make the difficult time um, that our scouting family and, and the local family there is, is, uh, is feeling. Two other injured scouts were brought out with non-life-threatening injuries. There was quite a bit of damage. Forest Service crews continue clearing portages and trails cut off by the storm. And float planes are out surveying damage, helping medevac other injured campers. But then another part of, of um, what they're doing is just trying to get through and into areas that have been impacted and determine if there is anyone else out there that needs help. Now again, other members of that same scouting group were brought out today and will get grief counseling. Finally, the Forest Service is bracing for yet another round of storms over the same region this weekend. So let's hope these aren't quite as severe. Jennifer. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm.